Hi there. Now, for this question, we're given this uniform lambda here, A, B, C, D, E, and F, which is a regular hexagon, and the sides are of length 2 meters. And triangles O, A, F, and O, E, F are removed from this uniform lambda, and we get this shape here. And what we've got to do is find the distance of the center of mass from O. And this is worth five marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. And when you come back, you can check your work solution against mine. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, when we're looking at the center of mass of this shape, then because it's symmetrical, that center of mass is going to be along the line of symmetry, which would be OC. So just mark that line of symmetry in. And I'm going to set up an x-axis across here. OK. And we'll take this axis through here as being the y-axis. So that would mean that the center of mass, which I'll mark in, say, somewhere up here, let's say, we'll mark that in as having coordinates 0, y bar. All right. Now, in order to find the center of mass, just the method, remember, is that if we find the mass of all of the lamina and multiply that mass by the distance y bar, it's going to be equal to the moment of the individual parallelograms here, or a rhombus, because they've got the sides exactly the same length. It's going to be equivalent to the sum of the moment of this rhombus and this rhombus about the x-axis. So let's start by saying we'll assume that the mass per unit area, OK, we'll just put per unit area equals some constant. We'll say m. Now we need to get the area of the whole shape. So we need to get the area of, say, the rhombus, first of all, and then we'll double it. Now to get the area of a rhombus, or basically a parallelogram, what I've got to do is multiply the base by the height. Well, if I take, say, this side here as being the base, then the height, we'll mark it in, OK, the height would be from B perpendicularly across here. And what I'm going to do is we'll just draw up the, to the midpoint here of this line AB, OK? And we'll project that back down to here, and we've got one right angle triangle. This side's going to be one meter. This side is parallel to this side, and so therefore this must be two meters. And by using Pythagoras's theorem, this side must be root three. So put that in as root three meters. So I've got then the distance from one side of our parallelogram here to the other. So when it comes to working out then the mass okay, of, we'll say, OABC, okay, mass of OABC, it's going to be equal to the base then, 2, times the height, which will be root 3. That's the area, and now we just multiply it by m. Okay, so because we've got two shapes exactly the same here, we've got the total mass, just twice this then. So what I'm going to do then is take moments about the x-axis. So we've got then the total mass, which is going to be twice this. So we've got 2 times 2 root 3 m. And that's going to be multiplied by the distance of the center of mass back to x, which is going to be y bar. 
Now this moment here is going to be equal then to the moment of each of the separate lambdas O, A, B, C and O, E, D, C about X. So we need to find out first of all where the centre of mass of each of these lambdas are. And if we take this shape here O, A, B, C we know that it will be at the intersection of the diagonals. And that point of intersection is going to be halfway along this line here. And what I need to know is what this distance is here. And then I can add it to one unit because it's the same as this distance and we cut the two meters in half. Okay? So let's just get this distance here. What's it going to be? Well, we can drop a line down there and um, this triangle is similar to this triangle. So if I've gone halfway across this line then this distance here must be half of this distance up here. So being one meter this distance must be half a meter. So just mark that in as half a meter. So the distance of the centre of mass is going to be one and a half metres above the x-axis. So we take the mass which we worked out of OABC which was 2 root 3 m and we need to multiply this by the distance of the centre of mass from the x-axis which is one and a half. Okay, so I'm going to put that as 3 over 2 and not only have we got this moment, but we got the moment of the lambda OEDC, which is going to be exactly the same as this one. So I'm just going to double it. Okay? So I can cancel through here actually. I can see that we've got 2 times 2 root 3m on both sides. So I can just take that out, and I can just take it out there. And what we're left with is one and a half. So therefore, y bar equals three over two. So now I've got y bar, one and a half meters. Distance back to O must be two meters minus the one and a half meters. It's just going to leave me with half a meter. So just to recap here then, distance to O is going to equal two meters minus one and a half meters which leaves me with half a meter. All right.